Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Predictions. Not the best way I wanted to start off this video. Obviously a lot of you may know in this spot I've got Barry's football ground behind me. Um, they've gone into a liquidation, they've been thrown out the Football League. I want to speak about this a bit because I feel so sorry for the Berry fan. I know a lot of you have probably, you know, got your own opinions, which you're entitled to have. But, imagine taking your Saturdays, your football, away from you. Um, you know, it's... What, or what really got me frustrated with this story is where the Berry chairman goes. I didn't even know Berry had a football club. I didn't even know you know, about Berry in general. But then there's the other side. And this bit makes me frustrated, not only at the Berry chairman, um, not only at the EFL, but both parties collided. He's had 12 businesses out of 15 go bust. Now, let me sum that up for you. That's about taking 15 football clubs and 12 go bust. So 15 football clubs in the Premier League and 12 go bust. You know, it's something like that. What the EFL checked really are, this is what I really want to know. Um, I know they've got to do certain checks, but 12 businesses out of 15 go bust and you still let them take over a football club. The guy's already admitted that he does not like football. You know, what was the EFL plan at? Are they trying to make clubs go bust? Um, you know, it's like the EFL saying we've done everything we could and stuff like that, but it's not good enough as far as I'm concerned the EFL. You're supposed to be, no disrespect here, the grassroots of football. You know, pl players coming up through the... League 1, League 2, Championship, into the Premier League. That's your job. You're supposed to keep these clubs alive. I think there's a better way of doing it. I don't think that the EFL had to farm out. I just think the EFL had enough of, you know, waiting and waiting. That they've decided to farm out. Um, as I said, I'm, I really am upset about this. And to make it worse, we could be facing another club within 14 days, and that is Bolton Wanderers. I'm hoping it's not going to happen to Bolton, because one club going out of the Football League to one, but two, the EFL really have got to start looking at things. It's the right people. Is it about time we started uh, cutting players' wages down? You know, um, you know, only pound, what? I don't know. Thousand pound, two thousand pound a week each. You know, some what some of these players get paid is unbelievable. I mean, I can't believe that. You know what these players get paid. I know Man United were only around the corner from Bolton and Bury and Man City and all the big clubs, and they could put their hands in their pocket. It's not up to them to, you know, secure a club. Um. But you have to really have a look at the EFL and the Barry Chairman. As far as I'm concerned with this story, um, as I said, I'm very upset. I hope it does not happen to Bolton. To Bolton. I've got family that actually live up in Bolton. I've been to the uh, University of Bolton Stadium many a times just to visit. You know, I love visiting my football grounds when I'm up north. Um, but this is just frustrating me so much. Um, Berry fans, I, I really am sorry for you. I really hope that after this season you can write off to the FA, get a new chairman in, reform your name. That way your fines don't have to be paid or, you know, what the FA were looking for. Um, and really just come back up through the pyramid. I hope this ain't the end of Berry, and I definitely don't want the same thing to happen to Bowen in literally 14 days' time from now. Um, 
but this just frustrates me from the off. I wanted to get it out there. I think the NFL got a part to play in this. I think the Berry Chairman got a part to play in this. I think they need to, you know, have a look at the players' wages. I mean, I'm not saying championship wages, but let's look at the Premier League. What is it? Like, a hundred grand a week? What are you going to do with a hundred grand a week of money in in a week? You know, it's weekly wages in football. It's not on like monthly wages. Um, what frustrates me is, you know, we've got the NHS in a lot of trouble, you know, financial trouble. We've got ambulance drivers breaking the speed limit, trying to save lives. And they get paid peanuts compared to footballers. I think this really does need to sort it out now. Because I don't think this will be the only time it happens. If we don't start acting on it now. Um, right. But anyway. Guys you know what to do. You know, you know what to do. You know what I do. So guys you know what to do. <laughs> Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game we're going to kick off with. Is Akaka Stanley versus MK Dons. Akrick and Stanley lost 2-0 to Fleetwood away from home. MK Dons losing 4-0 to Peterborough at home. Um, I ain't gonna... You know, I think both results were expected, so I'm just going to give you the result for this game. I've gone for a 2-1 MK Dons win for that one. My next one is Wimbledon versus Wickham. Wimbledon losing 3 1 at Sunderland. Wickham beating Southend 4 3 at home. Um, seven goals in that Wickham game. That must be an interesting game all round. Uh, Wimbledon, on the other hand, you know, it's probably expected as well. So I ain't got to beat around that. I'll talk about that when I get down to the Sunderland fixture this weekend. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3 0 Wickham win. My next one is Blackpool versus Portsmouth. Portsmouth had a game postponed. I did get told about it after my last video went up. Um, it's because I had a festival down there and they were worried about the welfare of the fans. So, you know, I had no fixture, a week's break. Blackpool, on the other hand, did have a fixture and they drew new. Nil nil at Rochdale. So I'm just going to give you the result for this one as well. And I've gone for a 3 1 Blackpool win. My next one is Burton Albion versus Bristol Rovers. Burton Albion nil nil at Shrewsbury Town. Bristol Rovers 3 1 winners over Oxford at home. That Bristol Rovers result probably. Bit of a shock, but not too much. And the Burton Albion, nil nil, probably just a you know average away from home performance. Um, but for that one, I've gone for a one all scoreline. My next game is supposed to be the Berry game, but obviously, as you saw at the top of this video, it ran no longer in the Football League. Um, so we move on. And just before we move on, I want to give you the update. As it stands, with Bolton in the league, only three teams will go down instead of four. Um, but my next game is Gillingham versus Bolton. Gillingham losing 1 0 against Coventry. Bolton Wanderers losing 5 0 against Richbridge at home. That result's probably expected because of the young boys that Bolton have got to play. Um, you know, their players ain't happy not being paid and stuff like that. It's, oh yeah, it angers me so much. Um, Coventry, on the other hand, you know, probably was expected that I think they start to get used to the uh, Birmingham City's ground now. But for this one, I've gone for a 2 1 Gillingham win. My next one is Itchridge versus Shrewsbury. As I've just said about Ipswich, Shrewsbury 0 0 against Burton Albion at home. I've spoke about both, uh, you know, a lot. 
well, not a lot, um, but you know what I mean. Uh, but I've gone for three now, it's return for that one. My next one is Lincoln versus Fleetwood. Fleetwood beating African Stanley 2 0. And Lincoln loses Doncaster 2 1. Considering Doncaster ain't got a fixture, let's go talk about a Doncaster result a bit. Um, you know, losing to a Doncaster at home, sorry, away from home if you're a Lincoln City fan, um, you know, it's probably expected, um, no disrespect to Lincoln, but I just think Doncaster have been in this league a bit longer than the Senate, maybe just a little bit more. But as far as this one goes, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Oxford versus Coventry. Coventry beating Gillingham 1-0. Oxford losing 3-1 over Bristol Rovers away from home. Um, you know, but it's got to be a good result for Coventry considering they're not playing in their home ground. It really is a... Um, You know, as I said, they're probably getting used to it, so, you know, probably ain't too much of a shock. Same with Oxford, losing away from home, probably just a little, little bit expected. But as far as this one goes, I've gone for a 2-1 Coventry City win. My next one is Peterborough versus Sunderland. Peterborough beating MK Dons 4-0. Some of them beat Wimbledon 3-1. Some of the result was probably expected. 4-0 away from home to Peterborough. You know, it is probably a bit of a shock losing that many goals. Um, but, you know, I think Peterborough slightly settled in to League 1 now. Um, you know, I suppose MK Dons have had that bit of that bounce in the past. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 1 0 Sunderland win. My next one is Wolverham versus Tramia. Um, Wolverham game postponed, so there's nothing to really talk about this game, so I'm just going to give you a scoreline. And that is a 2 0 Wolverham win for that one. My last one for this weekend is Southend versus Rochdale. Um, Southend. You know, losing to Wickham 4 3 away from home. I tell you, that's got to be a game and a half. Um, but, you know, away from home, I think you can slightly accept it when you play away from home with a scoreline that big. Um, Rochdale 0 0 against Blackpool. You know, it probably was more a bit expected. But for this one, I've gone for a 3 1 Watchdale win. But guys, I've got a brilliant video to an end. Guys, you know what to do, give it to a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.